The speed skating events has one of the most sought after venues here at the 2017 Winter University at the outdoor rink at the Medu Sports Complex sits in the bottom of the mountains here in Almaty. The first race here is between Japan's Nana Takashi and Kazakhstan's Yekaterina Idova. Idova will be on the outside ring, Takashi on the inside, and here they go starting their race neck and neck. They take their first turn. You'll see them go right over their names here. You can't get confused of who they are on this one. At the 300 meter mark, still neck and neck, but Takashi, she leads the way by just one second. Now almost a minute in, Takashi still in the lead. Eleven hundred meters. Idova was looking good. Takashi once again still in the lead. Idova looking to catch up here as they start on their final stretch of the race. They take that final turn. And it's all a race from here. Takashi looking to catch up quickly. And she does it. She will take this race with a time of two minutes and 6.35 seconds. Take a quick replay here of that final turn where she gets that leg to go. The next race now is Korea versus Russia. Yen Jun will be on the inside track while Russia's Alexandra Kasherkina, she'll be on the outside track. There she is there. The two out of the gate quick, neck and neck once again. At the 300 meter mark, Alexandra Kasherkina, she is on pace to win this entire race. Now keep in mind, these two athletes aren't necessarily racing against each other. They are racing against that best time that we saw in the last race. At the next checkpoint, 700 meters, Kasherkina doing still quite well, just over a minute into the race. It's her last lap here now, 1100 meters into the race, just over a minute and a half. Still, Kasherkina on pace to take the gold in this event if she continues with this speed. Here she is now in the final edge of this race. She will finish with a time of 2 minutes and 6.21 seconds. Good enough for the gold medal. Korea's Yen Jen, she would finish in a time of 2 minutes and 9.28 seconds. Take a look at the board here. All three winners just milliseconds apart, but Kasherkina, Idova, and Takashi all received their bronze, gold, and silver medals, respectively. From the beautiful Medeu Sports Complex, Outside of El Madi, you get a great look at it there, this outdoor oval. It is the men's 5,000 meters. Lots of snow on this day, so some of the hardest working people are those trying to shovel to keep the ice clear. We'll look here now at Linus Heidegger of Austria up against Saitoro Ichinoue of Japan. There's Heidegger. Dutch skaters have really dominated this event at Universiade, winning four gold all time. Speed skating, of course, not competed at every Universiade, depending on whether the host has a venue that can work or not. And luckily for us here in Almaty, they do. And it's a spectacular setting. And there you see Heidegger. Currently eight and a half seconds ahead of the leader's pace. 
trying to fend off Ichinoue. There you see some of the shoveling going on in the background, even as the athletes move around the oval. Ichinoue starting to inch his way closer to Heidegger. Ichinoue had a personal best of six minutes, 28.76 seconds in Nagano last November. He won't hit that today, but he temporarily moves into first place. Heidegger is in second. Now it's Lee Jin Yong of Korea on the inside lane and Davite Giotto of Italy in the outside. And Giotto here in the early going ahead of the pace set by Ichinoue. Giotto is only three days removed from his personal best in Berlin in a time of 6 minutes 27.73 seconds. That took place at an ISU World Cup event. Now Giotto falling a little behind that pace set by the Japanese skater Ichinoue. And the shoveling continues here as the snow continues to come down very heavily. Now Giotto falling further behind that leader's pace. But as he hits the bell lap, Giotto, as you can see, he's found another gear well ahead of that pace set by Ichinoue. And he crosses the finish line in a time of 6 minutes, 51.64 seconds. And there you see the Korean laboring a little bit as he comes and crosses the line. So Davide Giotto of Italy wins gold here in the men's 5,000 meters. Saitaro Ichinoue, he will settle for silver. 1.3 seconds back and Linus Heidegger of Austria 3.82 seconds back will win the bronze and there you see the three medalists in the men's 5,000 meters Let's head out into the mountains now to Mado Sports Complex where we'll see women compete in the 3,000 meter speed skating event 32 athletes would compete today in this event, but only one would earn the gold. Let's get into the action here. First up is a race between Russia's Elena Sakaryakova and Poland's Ursula Wadarzyk. You can see Poland's athlete here. She'll be dressed in red. She'll be on the inner side. And here is Russia's in the white and blue. She'll be on the outside. Both athletes here burst out of the gate and it's 3,000 meters from here. You can see the line there from the leader right now, Sakriakova, way ahead, 1,000 meters in. She is leading the way so far over her opponent and over the leader. Five laps to go here. She's still just under a minute and a half. A minute later now. She's all alone as Russia's Wadarzgik. She takes one on the ground. She's done now for the race. Still leading the way over that leader. She has a big lead here as she starts to get tired. You can see the fatigue in her legs start to kick in. She gets a bit slower, but she's going to push for the finish. Four minutes, 27.89 seconds. Up next is Korea's Jun Yang and Japan's Nana Takahashi. You can see here, here's Takahashi. She's on the outer. She'll be in the dark black. Korea's Jun Yang in the dark blue on the inside. Takahashi just behind that leader. You can see there as they approach the first mark. 
1,400 meters to go. Takahashi close to that leader just behind. Two laps now to go for this Japanese athlete as she continues her speedy race around and around and around. Four minutes, 15 seconds. Just ahead of that leader right now. Again, see that fatigue start to finish. Makes it to the finish line with a time of 4 minutes, 27.68 seconds. That time will be good enough for the silver medal for this Japanese athlete. Last but not least, Belarus's Marina Zuyeva and Korea's Youngsu Lim. They'll be up next racing for what will be the gold medal. Just to keep in mind here, these two athletes aren't necessarily racing against each other, but racing the clock. Here's seven seconds into the race, both before the leader right now, doing well on their speed. If they continue this one, you will see who wins the gold medal in the end. Five laps to go here. Zuyeva, she goes out to a quick head start. You can see here, way in front of that leaderboard with just under two minutes into the race. 14 meters to go. Still way ahead of that leaderboard. You can see there on the bottom with the times. Suyeva not letting up in this race. You can see her speed does not leave her. We're just over four minutes now as she goes to the end here. She could do it. No one else in sight. She's going to cross the finish line with a time of four minutes, 18.26 seconds. That one will be good enough for the gold medal for this athlete from Belarus. She will take the first place. The silver medal will go to Takahashi from Japan and Russia's Elena Sokryakova. She will get the third place. Takahashi, this is her second medal here at the Universiades. All three of these girls, though, would get their medals directly after their event. From the Medeu Sports Complex just outside of Almaty, a beautiful setting for speed skating. This is the men's 500 meters. Race one of two. Look at Zhang Hong Kiang of China and Kim Young Jin of Korea. Each racer will race twice, once on the inside lane, once on the outside. And the Chinese skater almost loses an edge there, but maintains his balance. Now Kim coming around the final turn on the inside. A little bit wide on the turn there, but you can see he's ahead of the first place skater currently, and so that will move him into top spot with a time of 35.64. Now Bai Qiming of China and Cha Ming Q of Korea. Cha set a personal best of 34.82 seconds here in Kazakhstan, in Astana, back in December. And there you see him under control through the final straight and to the finish line in the lead here in this first race, a time of 35.16 seconds. Now Denis Koval of Russia and Koto Nakao of Japan. Nakao's personal best came in Calgary back in 2015, a time of 34.97 seconds. And there you see Nakao just behind of that top spot pace. He will finish with a time of 35.35 seconds. Good for second spot here in this first race. There you see the leaderboard after the opening sprint. Now on to race two. Here's Palkin of Kazakhstan, and again Kim Young-jin of Korea. 
Came in third spot in that opening race. Needing to pick up the speed a little bit here to find a way to move up on the podium. And there you see Kim ahead of the top spot pace right now. And he will cross currently in first. Time in the second race of 35.49 seconds. So slightly ahead of what he had in the first. Now back to Nakao of Japan and Ruslan Rafikov of Russia. The Japanese skater there on the inside lane to start. At a time of 35.35 seconds in the opening race. Currently on pace to move into first, and he will, 35.40. So a little bit slower than his first race, but very consistent. Now Krikanov of Kazakhstan, and our leader after the first race, Cha Ming Q of Korea. Cha put down a time of 35.16 seconds, and he'll start this second race in the inside lane. Krikanov laboring there, you can see, but Cha powers through that final turn, trying to stay ahead of that pace line, and he'll do it quite easily, 35.24 seconds, and his combined time will put him in gold medal position. He put down the two best times overall, 70.40 for gold. From the beautiful Medeu Sports Complex outside of Almaty, it is the women's 500 meter speed skating event. The sun has come out here today in Almaty after a couple days of snow and fog. So beautiful conditions for these athletes. First up, we'll take a look at Alexander Kachukina of Russia taking on Kin of China. This is the first of two races for each of them. And you see Kachurkina there now in the outside lane. Set a personal best two weeks ago of 39.49 in Italy. And she'll actually better that here today, 39.44. So a new personal best for her. Next up, it's Kim of Korea and Sha of China. Kim Hyun Young, 24th in the 500 meters at the Sochi Olympics. You see her there on the inside. Fair ways ahead of that first place pace. And in a time of 38.80, she moves into top spot here in this first race. Next up, Yamada of Japan and Sujimoto also of Japan. Sujimoto on the inside. You now see here on the outside lane, a little behind that pace set by Kim. She'll move into second spot, 39.13 seconds. And there are the standings after the first race. Now to the second race, here's Kachakina again. Set that personal best in the first race. Up here against Idova of Kazakhstan. Idova will now move to the outside lane and catch her keen to the inside. Idova starting to labor a little bit. Catch her keen looking quite strong down this back straight to the finish line. And Kachakina will set her second personal best of the day, 39.26 seconds. Now it's the final pair. Kim of Korea taking on Sujimoto.
Kim won junior gold in the 500 meters in 2013. And Tsujimoto actually set her own personal best of 39.13 in the opening race here today. Now down the final straight, Kim with a significant lead. And Kim Hyun Jung of Korea wins the gold medal. Arisa Tsujimoto in a total time of 78.52 seconds will win silver. And Alexandra Kachukina of Russia with a total time of 78.71 will claim the bronze. And there you see Kim pushing right to the finish line and she will celebrate her gold medal win here in the women's 500 meters. They're receiving her flowers. Kim Hyun Jung, gold medalist here in Almaty in 2017. Let's kick off this afternoon at Mado Sports Complex, where the men's 1500 meter speed skating event will take place. This is the world's highest altitude ice rink in the entire planet, and athletes from Kazakhstan, China, Japan, Russia, Netherlands, and more took to the ice. Up first, we will watch Japan's Ryu Kosaka race against the Netherlands' Martin Rene Van and You can see both athletes here getting off to a quick start. Coming up to the 1100 meter mark now, the athlete from the Netherlands takes just a slight lead ahead of Kosaka. Both athletes now heading into this final lap as they are neck and neck approaching the one and a half minute mark. You can see now that black line behind them. That's the leading score right now that they have to beat at the finish line. Van Usen, he's going to end with a time of 1 minute 49.53 seconds. Eventually, that would land him in the silver medal spot. Next up, here's the race you do not want to miss. This would end up having the silver and gold medalists compete right against each other. Russia's Karel Golubev and Japan's Junya Miwa would be side to side the entire time. Look how speedy these guys go right from the get go. Miwa, he's wearing black, he's on the inside, and Russia's Golubev on the outside wearing the red, white, and blue. Three laps to go here. You can see Russia's Golubev out to a quick lead. Again, I mentioned both these athletes neck and neck with each other the entire race. You can see that leader line right behind them. That is who they are competing against, both of them ahead of it at this point. You can see here both these speedy athletes still ahead of that leading time as they enter their final lap of the race. A minute 35 now into this race. Golubev, he would end with a time of 1 minute 49.30 seconds. You can see here, substantial lead heading into this final stretch. And he has done it. You can see he has gotten that 
fastest time so far again. One minute, 49.30 seconds. Here he is again in that final stretch. Japan's Junya Miwa, he would end with a minute 49.61 seconds, good enough for the bronze medal. Over to Mado High Mountain Ice Rink now to see the women's 5,000 meter speed skating race where three athletes will walk away with medals. 15 student athletes from 10 different countries raced for that top spot. Up first, you can see Marina Zuyeva. She's in the green on that outer ring. She's from Belarus. She's racing now against Nene Sakai from Japan. Keep in mind, once again, these two athletes not necessarily racing against each other, but racing against the clock as they take that first stretch in this race here. Seven laps to go. Marina Zuyeva takes a quick lead. You can see she's a little bit ahead right now of Sakai. Zuyeva continuing her dominance here with just four laps to go. Her time just over five minutes. Zuyeva here looks like she's all alone on this track. She's going to win this one by more than 15 seconds. Just over seven minutes now into this race. She will end with a time of seven minutes, 20.11 seconds. Check out her last stretch of the race here. You can see now how far back that Japanese athlete is from her. Zuyeva will take the gold in this 5,000 meter event with a time of seven minutes, 20.11 seconds. Here's Sakai now making her way to the end. It looks like she's very, very far behind, but she also does super well in this event. She'll pick up the silver with a time of seven minutes, 35.14 seconds. Next up now is Korea's Jungsoo Lim. She's gonna take on Anastasia Zueva from Russia. Zueva, she's on that inside ring. She's wearing blue and white. You're looking now at Lim from Korea in the black in the outside ring. Two hundred meters into the race, Korea's Jung Soo Lim on pace to medal in this one. Now nine laps to go, just over two minutes. Remember, the gold and silver medalists ended in seven minutes and thirty-ish seconds for both of them. So now we're five minutes into the race, four laps to go here, as Korea's Jung Soo Lim continues her speedy race. Nearing the end of the race here, a nice push by Lim right at the end. She will end with a time of 7 minutes and 49.09 seconds. You can see her now coming close to the finish line. That time will be good enough for the bronze medal and the Korean National Sport University student picks up her first medal at the 2017 Winter Universiad. The medals were awarded right after this event. This is the second medal now for Marina Zuyeva of Belarus. There you can see her here. She got that gold medal in the 3,000 meter sprint on February 1st. Lady speed skating will continue tomorrow as the 1,000 meter race kicks off. From the Medeu Sports Complex, just outside of Almaty, men's speed skating. This is the 1,000 meters at the 28th Winter Universiad. And there you get a look at this stunning venue. One of the most beautiful speed skating venues you'll find. There you see the World and Universiad records. And the fog descended at times here today for the 1,000 meters. 
Here we'll look at Ryo Kusaka of Japan and Stanislav Palkin of Kazakhstan. Kusaka on the inside lane to start. He set a personal best at home in Nagano at the end of December in a time of 1 minute 10.93 seconds. In the 1500 meters yesterday here in Almaty, he finished fifth. Two laps to go here now. Quite close between these two. The Kazakh staying tight. There you see the Kazakhstani coach urging Palkin on. And as we round the final corner, Kosaka is the one in a time of one minute, 10.58 seconds. Another personal best for him. So really solid performance here by Ryu Kosaka. Now Armin Hager of Austria and Martin Renier Van Oosten of the Netherlands. There you see Van Oosten. He said a season best 10 days ago of the one minute 10.38 seconds in the Netherlands. Also won a silver in the 1500 meters here at Universiade in Almaty and was 10th in the 500 meters. He's now built up quite an advantage over Hager of Austria. Keeping that left arm tight to his body around the turn, fatigue not seemingly setting in overly yet. Getting urged on there by one of the coaches. And now Van Oosten, you can see well ahead in top spot and well ahead of Hogger. And for now, Van Oosten is in first place. That's a new personal best for him as well. One minute, 10.12 seconds. Now we have Cha Ming Q of Korea and Fedor Mensisev of Kazakhstan. Cha already has a gold medal to his credit here in Kazakhstan, having won the 500 meters. You see that very unusual style of Mezensev, that left arm coming out perpendicular to his body. Cha seeming very comfortable here as they hit the bell lap. There's his coach urging him on, giving him some details as to where he's at in the race. You can see those legs very heavy now for Cha as he works hard towards that finish line and he will cross in top spot. Mezensev is 10th. And for Cha Ming Kyu, another gold medal here in Almaty. One minute, 9.56 seconds. Not quite a personal best, but a very good time. Van Oosten will sit in silver medal position while Kosaka will take the bronze medal. And there you have the three medalists in the men's 1,000 meters. Beautiful aerial shot there of the Medeu Sports Complex in Almaty. The sun poking through the clouds here a little bit on what has been a relatively foggy week at Medeu. This is the women's 1,000 meters. Crowds filing in for today's events. And there you see the world and Universiade record holders. First up, Yukari Matsuzawa of Japan and Kim Hyun Jung of Korea. Kim already with a gold medal in the 500 meters here at Universiade in Almaty. She did win a silver in the 1000 meters back at the Trentino Universiade in 2013. She's also a former Olympian, having competed at the Sochi Olympics in 2014, where she took 28th place in the 1,000 meters. 
And there you see Kim. Now on the outside lane, both skaters ahead of the leader's pace right now as they hit the bell lap. Her coach urging her on. And as you can see, still both of them well ahead of that leader's pace. Kim will cross first in a time of one minute, 19.19 seconds. That would be the official clocking for her. Next up, Ryo Yamada of Japan and Alexandra Kacherkina of Russia. There you see Yamada. Kacherkina on the inside. Already has a gold here in Almaty, the 1500 meter gold, as well as a silver from the 500 meters. Back in late December in Coloma, Russia, she set her personal best of 1 minute 17.39 seconds. Right now on the inside lane, she and Yamada more or less neck and neck as they come up to the bell lap. Kachakina, a big skater, a bit of an upright style, but you can see her there holding that left arm tucked in. But now has pulled ahead of Yamada and still ahead too of that leader's pace. And she will move into first just ahead of Kim Hyun Jung. Time of one minute, 19.1 seconds for the Russian. And she's in a good spot to get her third medal of the games. There you see Yekaterina Idova of Kazakhstan and Sha Yuning of China. For Idova, she has a bronze from the 1500 meters here in Almaty. She studies in Karaganda here in Kazakhstan. Right now she's well ahead of the Chinese competitor as Shaw drops off the pace. And for Idova, she heads into the bell lap ahead of the time laid down by Kacherkina. But she begins to labor, as you can see there, her coach really urging her on, knowing she's in a good spot for gold. But down the final straight, she labors mightily and will not catch the time of Kacherkina. Idova in third spot, she will win a medal her second bronze here in Almaty. A really good start, but she laid everything on the line early and just didn't have enough to finish. There you see Kachakina in the gold medal position, Kim in second, with her second silver from this 1,000 meters at a Universiad. And Yekaterina Idova on home soil wins the bronze in the women's 1,000 meters. Welcome to the beautiful Madeo High Ice Rink. You saw the women compete in the snowy weather earlier today, and now it's the men's turn to kick it off. They will compete in the 10,000 meter speed skate event, the longest in this discipline. These ones will last a grueling 13 or 14 minutes. But first, this one is Hung Moon Moon from Korea and Suyu Ogawa from Japan. The Japanese athlete will be racing on that inside lane wearing the black. And the Korean athlete here you see, he will be on the outside lane. He's in blue and red. Eight minutes now into the race, Ogawa is just winning slightly by a very small margin as he continues on to this race. 11 laps to go now, Agawa still in the lead. You can see him here rounding the corner, but when the final lap approached, it was Han Yung Moon from Korea who would be out to a very substantial finish. He would end with a time of 14 minutes and 26 seconds even. 
Next up is a race between Italy and Austria. Italy's David Giotto and Austria's Linus Heidegger. Both athletes out to a quick start on this one, and it would be another 14 minutes until this grueling race would come to an end. You can see Giotto here. He won the gold medal in the 5,000 meter race on January 31st, and again, showing his dominance here on this one, his competitor from Austria, not even in sight. Heading into the final lap now, Giotto on pace to take this first top spot. Close to the finish line here. He will end with a time of 13 minutes and 48.12 seconds. That moves the Italian up to that very first top ranking spot. You can see his beginning there. We're going to move on, however, to the next race. This one is between two Japanese athletes. This one you see right here. He will be on the inside. This is Ichino. And on the outside, in the darker, with the red marker on his arm, is Obashi. The two Japanese athletes go head to head. You can see here, Ichino, he won just earlier in this university. He had the silver medal at the 5,000 meter event. Now 11 laps to go left in this race. He takes a quick head start. You can see him here getting a little bit fatigued as he continues throughout this race. Approaching the finish line here, he will end with a time of 14 minutes, 17.53 seconds. You can watch his final lap. With this time, he moves to the second place spot and we'll watch Obashi just finish here. He will gain that third place spot with a time of 14 minutes and 24.95 seconds. The Japanese athletes had a wonderful race here at Medeo Mountain as they claim the second and third spot. You can see here Italy in one, Japan two and three, and Korea in four. But Japan's Ichino would be disqualified, moving Han Wung Moon from Korea up to that third place position. The medals were awarded to Gyoto, Obashi, and Moon. We head up now to the Medeu Sports Complex, a little bit outside of Almaty for speed skating. This is the women's and men's team pursuit finals. And there you get a look just outside the venue. Really good crowd on hand despite the chilly temperatures. Temperatures in around minus 15 degrees or so today. First up on the women's side, this is the B final, Japan and Italy. The four skaters that have represented Japan here Ai Furusho, Nene Sakai, Nana Takahashi, and Mai Yamada. And for Italy, it's Linda Bortolotti, Julia Lola Brigida, and Gloria Malfatti. Here you see a little bit later in the race, Japan separated out a little bit here. But they will cross first and win the B final, and that will give them the bronze medal. Italy, 1.47 seconds back. Now the A final. This is Russia and Korea. Korea's four skaters that have participated, Jun Ye Jin, Lim Jung Su, Nam Ji Yoon, and Park Cho Won. For Russia, Olesya Chernega, Elena Sokoryakova, Anastasia Zdrakova, and Anastasia Zueva. There you see with four laps to go. Russia a little bit behind the Koreans. And as Korea comes up on the finish line, they will separate out here and push. And Korea will win the gold medal in the women's team pursuit. Russia comes in just under five seconds back to win the silver. And there you see the final results. Korea gold, Russia silver, Japan the bronze. Now to the men's side. The Netherlands up against China here in the B final. 
Gerwin, Collier, Olaf, Gerritsen, Ronald Lichtenberg, and Jakob Vroidenel for the Netherlands. Diasetir Tersonagen for China, along with Wang Shiwei and Zhu Zheyao. Six laps to go. China a little bit behind the Dutch. And there you see the Dutch clad in the traditional orange. And this speed skating powerful nation will cross to win the B final and the bronze medal. China, two seconds back, will finish fourth. And there you see the Chinese. Good race for them, but not enough to win a medal. Now the A final, Japan up against Korea. For Korea, Lee Jin Young, Moon Hyun Wung, and Oh Hyun Min. For Japan, it's Saitaro Ichinoe, Junwa Miwa, and Showa Agawa. And there you see Korea just a little bit ahead of Japan right now. Of course, the women already won the gold medal. Men trying to do the same. And here they come to the finish line. Korea will win both pursuit finals. Japan here will take the silver for the men. And the Netherlands will win the bronze in the men's team pursuit. Beautiful aerial shot there of the Mideo Sports Complex outside of Almighty. This is the final day of speed skating. And this is the mass start. First, the women. This is the first time this event has ever been competed at a Winter Universiade. And as you can see, very different than most long track speed skating events. It'll bear a little more similarity to what you see in short track. But of course, this is over a much longer distance. And there you see with helmet number 13, Anna Pristalova of Russia. She recently set a personal best in the 500 meters of 42.05 seconds in Moscow. But this is, of course, much longer than that sprint distance. She was 20th here in the 1500 meters and 12th in the 5000. Behind her in helmet 18, you just saw there Anna Muzika of Ukraine. She's trying to keep pace with the Russian. Also in this race, in helmet number two, Jun Yejin of Korea. She won a gold yesterday in the team pursuit. There's Pristalova, now onto the final lap. You can tell her legs are burning, just trying to get through this final stretch. And she's beaten out not just June, but also Nene Sakai, silver medalist in the 5,000 meters and a bronze in the team pursuit. And there you see Pristalova working her way towards the gold medal. And she will cross in a time of 10 minutes, 43.74 seconds. The silver will go to Sakai of Japan and the bronze to June of Korea. This is a points race. So you'll see the standings there as the athletes earn points throughout the course of the race based on where they are time-wise. And now we'll go to the men. And there you see the start list for the final. Athletes to watch out for here. Silver medalist from the men's 5,000 meters here at Universiade, Saitaro Ichinoue of Japan. He's in helmet seven. In helmet 10, Lee Jin Young, a gold medalist yesterday in the team pursuit. And Alexander Razorinov of Russia, he was eighth in the men's 5,000 meters. He's in helmet number three. Also, Alessio Trentini, the Italian, you see there just in second spot, he's in helmet 13.
And right now in top spot, helmet eight, Robin Gruben of Norway, followed closely there by Trentini. And then in behind them in helmet 16, Thomas Melin of France. But now moving in front, Ichinoue, you saw him briefly there. There he is, right in top spot, followed by Lee of Korea. They're starting to pull away a little bit. Ichinoue still looking comfortable, but you can tell with the look on the face of Lee, he's starting to tighten up a little bit here. And now they make their way here to the final straight. And Ichinoue with another gear gets into it, he'll take the gold medal. Time of eight minutes, 56.98 seconds. Lee will finish second. Just behind eight minutes, 57.18 seconds. And Razoranov of Russia, just over nine minutes at 9.01.11. And there you see Ichinoue as he overtakes Lee. Lee just could not find that extra push and the second medal for the Japanese skater here in 65 points Lee with 40 and there you see on the women's side Prishtalova wins gold Sakai and June with silver and bronze and there is Ichinoue of Japan Joined on the podium by Lee and Razoranov in the mass final.